Exactly. You, you got in... They're all sitting on the, on the aye, same aye, throne. Aye, aye. They're all on the same <laughs> throne. Uh, if there's three thrones, that's polytheism, that's Hinduism. Come aye, on, aye, brothers, aye, aye. And, brothers and sisters. <laughs> exactly what Rivka said. He sits on the throne with his father, because he's equal to his father, but he's the right arm of his, of, of his father. Let's, let's continue. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. Okay. So he has been positioned as the right hand of Yahweh. Now go with me to Hebrews, Ivrim, 12.2. Notice where are we going to get the Hebraic understanding? From the book of Ivrim, Hebrews. Okay, Baruch Hashem Yahweh. Shalom. It, why do many of us love the book of Hebrews? It gives us a Hebraic understanding of the scriptures. Amen? Baruch Hashem Yahweh. Now, turn with me to Ivrim 12.2. Ivrim 12.2. Let's settle down. We're glad you're here. Now we can settle down. Ivrim 12.2. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. Who'd like to read Ivrim? 12 and 2. Sarah, can you help us? Or are you busy? Huh? No, no. Sarah Walters. Sarah from Coral Springs. Well, that's what they all say. All right. Who's, I, I forgive you. That's all right. Miguel? Hebrews 12, 2. Miguel. No, let's, let's go with Miguel. Did Yeshua love you? Yes. Yeah. 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 So he became the author and finisher of your faith, meaning he is the first and the last. He's not a different God, a second God, a fourth God, the second person of five persons, two persons. He is the eternal Yahweh who is both the what? Author and finisher of our faith. He endured the torture state, despising its shame. Why? For the joy. What was the joy? The joy was, as not as commonly taught, because he loved, he did love us. Yes, he did. But the joy was not to suffer. That didn't bring him joy. The joy was to be back with his father, to obey the father's will and wishes here on the earth. That brought him joy. And what happened when he rose from the dead? He became father's right arm on one throne. Same throne. One throne. Now, let's put that word here. Thank you, uh, Miguel. Let's put that word here. Let's put, what is, what is the Greek word for trans, incorrectly N. translated as at? N. 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 S. What does N mean in Spanish? Same thing it means Inside. in Greek. Yeah. On the side of. Inside of. Inside of. Inside of. Right? Part of. Where is Yeshua? He's in the Father. Didn't he say that? I will am in the Father, and you are in me, as I am in him, and you are in him, and I am in you. Hello. Mm -hmm. Isn't that what he said? Mm -hmm. Now you understand what he said, and why he said what he said. When he said, I am in the Father, he came from the Father's bosom, and rose, and is, is positioned as. So he really is in the Father. Yes. Because he's not at the right hand of the Father, sorry. He is as the right hand of the Father. I know this is, is different. I know this is radical. But I'm telling you, this stuff is great. It fortifies our belief that Yahweh is Echad. You can't go around singing the Shema and believe what you've been taught for 25 years. Unless you want to be a hypocrite. We believe He is Echad. You can explain this to a Jewish person. What I'm teaching you tonight, you can, you can win Jewish people to Yeshua. Okay, if you tell him what the JWs teach, you know, the, the Father created Jesus, and the Father, you know, like there's another God, and he's, he's not on the same throne, the thrones are equal, whoa, 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 whoa. Yahweh said, I will share my glory with no one. How can there be another one who's equal? The Father, Son, and Spirit are all Yahweh. Yeah. Amen? Amen. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. Um, put that word in there. Put the word as. Look at the end of verse 2. He is positioned as the right hand of Yahweh. What was the joy set before him? Why did he endure the torture state? To be back with the Father. Isn't that where he came from? <coughs> Didn't he say, I came out of the Father, I came forth from the Father? Yes. Didn't he say that? Yes. He wanted to be back with the Father. Right. They are one. 
Right. He said, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father. How could it? Because you're seeing his right arm. What does that mean? If there's three persons and you see Yeshua, you are not seeing the Father. Sorry. You're not seeing the Father. You're seeing Yeshua. Unless Yeshua is the right arm of the Father. In Hebraic thought, he is the right hand of the Father. This is nothing new if we understand the Bible from a Hebraic point of view. This is brand new if you've been stuck in the church for 35 years. All right? Baruch Hashem Yahweh. Stuck. Emphasis on S, capital S. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. Um, now, please understand, we're not saying Yeshua is not at the right hand of Yahweh. We're saying he is as the right hand of Yahweh, and he is the part of Yahweh that is his arm, his right arm. Therefore, he's at, he's at the right, right part of the Father. Yes. As the Father's right part. Is anyone with me? Baruch mm Hashem -hmm. Yahweh. Um, let's go to Yohanan 1-3. Yohanan, John. See, and y'all thought you were going to come for another sleepy Bible study tonight. Another sleepy Moshe Bible study. Never. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. Never. I'm going to snooze through this one. I'm tired, brother. That's what you thought you were coming for tonight. Oh, man. But now we got some fire cooking. We got some religious religious looks. We got some, some sanctified looks. <laughs> Baruch Hashem Yahweh. John chapter 1, verse 3. I'll read that. All things were made by him. Without him was not anything made that was made. Oh, man? Merle, when you built this sukkah, what made, what made the sukkah? Was it the brain or the hands? The brain. The brain. The hands. Now, every born-again believer confesses Yeshua as the creator. Is Yeshua the Creator? Yes, absolutely. He's the hand. He's the right hand of the Father. He was the Word, but today he, he is the he is as the right hand and the brain. The Father commands, and the hand carries through the commandment. They're one. The hand functions with the brain, not separate from the brain. Everyone with me? Yes. Make sense? Mm -hmm. So now look at John 1:3. Yochanan 1:3. All things were made by Him. By who? by the eternal fixed position. I'm going to shock you. Yeshua was fixed in the Father before he was sent to earth. When he went back as the right hand, he was returning his glory. Didn't he say that in John 17? He said, Father, glorify thou me with the glory that I had with you while the world, before the world was. Amen. Amen? So, Yahshua was always with the Father. But it is Yahweh spoke his what? Word and that arm, that arm of creation, which became the arm of salvation, which became the arm of deliverance, also bought our forgiveness and forgiveness of our sins. Make sense? Wonderful stuff. How many years have we always said, oh, Yeshua is the creator? Yeah, it really brings it home when we see Yeshua as the as, not at. <laughs> Do you understand? If we've got at, we've got some serious issues here. Because you can't say he is equal, co-equal, co-eternal, eternal God, Elohim. Yes, he is. But then say he's seated on the throne next to, next to Elohim. The scriptures do not teach that. Show me one scripture that says Elohim is seated at the right hand of Elohim. It says Elohim, not at your side, but as your side, as your right arm. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. Do you understand that the Father doesn't have three thrones? The Father doesn't have two thrones? One throne. Let's, let's, conf let's walk and, and practice what we confess as true. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. Okay, so let's just for review, for those who came late, the Greek word, 1722, if you want to check up what I'm saying, is an eternal fixed position as the right hand. Shalom. As the right hand. Okay? Where did this idea of the right hand come from? It came from the Hebrew text, the Hebrew scriptures. If we take the uh, first covenant, Genesis to Malachi, throw it in the garbage, yes, then now we have to accept the fact that Yeshua is at the right hand of the Father, separate from the Father, 
person number two, God number two, throne number two. 